After five years, our principal, Mr. Ashcroft, is moving to Melvin to take up a new job. Mr. Isaac had a chance to catch up. This is uh, Mr. Roger Ashcroft. He's been at Urara for how long, Roger? Five years. So, what brought you to Urara? Well, I sometimes wonder about that. It's similar to you, a calling. And my whole life has been, since we getting into education, has been about callings. It's the reason I became a teacher. My last school, I was the principal for 12 years there. And God did some amazing things there as well. And um, it got to year 12 at my last school, and we done what I wanted to do, got the school to year 12, so I thought, next next challenge. And my wife found this ad in the paper about Urara College. She said, oh, you thought about we could go to Alice Springs and we could go and work up there. So that's what we did. We came mm. to Alice Springs. I got the job through a lot of interviews and whatnot, but got the job. And, um, it was totally different. I dealt with Indigenous people in, in Shepparton, where I came from, and just total, totally different. So I came here and it just opened my eyes, thinking, wow, what have we got ourselves in for? Uh, but once you get over that, you start to think, right, what does God want me to do? And I believe that God wanted me to make this place even better than it was. So um, a lot of work by myself and other staff to get it to where it is today. And, and I'm, I'm quite content with the, where we've got it to now. And I'm just hoping that it just keeps going with Chris England and to be an even a better school because he'll have gifts that I haven't got, mm. same as I've got gifts that he mm. hasn't got. Um, and so it'll be a great thing to see it even go further um, with him. Even the new things looking at today, you know, with 3D printers and laser cutters and, and things like that, you think, wow, this is going to be really good. So these kids have got a, lo like a lot to offer. Um, so let's dive into that a little bit more. What are some of the things that you've tried to bring to Urara? Horses? That didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> there is Fair mistakes. Enough. There is mistakes. As much as I like to talk about the positives, there is definitely if you if you want change and you're willing to try change, and um, you know that God's behind you in all this. Occasionally, you make a mistake, and the horses was not a good one. And I'm sure there's others other people could bring up, but the horses is the one which comes to mind because no one wanted to clean up after the horses, which I thought they'd be really happy to be part of the horses, but no, no. Okay. So we got rid of the horses a while back. So, so certainly when you come to a new area, you want to bring things that you know work, but also have to adapt. So how have you seen God work at Urara since you've been here? I've seen God work in these students' lives. Um, when I first came here and you speak to students, you say, well, what do you want to be? What do you want to do? And they'd name the store or the police station or whatever's in community, the school and different things. They'd say, oh yeah, these sorts of things thought but haven't you thought about the whole world you know like there's all sorts of things out there and what I've seen and I've seen God work in these students lives is is that now these kids have got so much to choose from they've got mm. so many things and there's girl one of the girls wants to be an airline hostess someone else wants to be a helicopter pilot you know jobs like this which are available to everyone and it's getting these kids confidences up to say yes you can do it you know I can do it you can do it you know it's 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 there for everyone so that's just what I've seen change. Of course, of course. Well, th those are some awesome changes to see the dreams of kids starting to blossom and bloom. Yeah. And hopefully, Urara is great at, at equipping the kids to be able to take on those dreams and make them become a reality. That's right, yeah. So what are, what are some things that you're going to miss, Roger, about Alice Springs and about Urara College? What are you going to miss? I'm going to miss the people. The it's people. always the people. It's, um, you know, admittedly, we have some, some big issues here sometimes, but at the end of the day, we all come back together and it's about us and it's mm. about the kids and it's about what we're raising here and what we're doing with these kids and trying to grow them into being strong Christians, to have a life, to have great families and do all these sorts of things. That's what I'll miss. And I'm sure once I've been gone for a month or two, I'll start thinking, oh, I'll miss this and I'll miss that. Right. I think I'm, I'm in the same boat as you are. I think the people are definitely going to be the biggest thing that I'll miss when I have it's to always. leave as well. A place isn't the same without the people, so the yeah. people make it, yeah. So, so tell us where you're going. Tell us what, what the future has in store for you and for Jan. So we're heading down to Melbourne. We've got our two daughters down there, and my dad and sister and brother are down there as well. So going to live in the cold again mm. in Melbourne. Um, taking a, a job on, which is, is um, um, what am I, the, the Director of Leadership and Innovation. Um, so... Wow. Um, it should be quite uh, overseeing other other principals and trying to help them um, mm. get their schools on track and things. So 
I'm quite, I'm quite pleased that I even got asked to do this sort of job and uh, I think it'll be great talking to other principals about some of the things you can sure. do to make your school better and um, improve it. So, yeah. so now that you, you've made it to the point in your career where you're consulting other principals of other schools, do you feel like you've made it? I feel old. You feel old? Old. <laughs> I don't ever think I've made it. But I just feel old. <laughs> Um, 57 and this is what I'm doing okay well we appreciate every single year every single hour every single day that you put in oh, you made such you. a huge difference in everybody's lives thank you so so mr. Chris England is coming in to take over and if you had one piece of advice that you would tell him about being the principal at your college what would you tell him make relationships mm. make relationships that's what it's all about I remember when I first came here, and I, these four girls wouldn't go to class. And I said, excuse me, you need to go to class. And they looked at me, then they went back talking again. <laughs> but they don't even know who I am, I'd say, about <laughs> relationships. Yep. And it's the same with people. Everything is about relationships mm. and, um, and how we get along. Be forgiving, all of that sort of stuff, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, and keep going with the school and keep it going in the right direction. Well, that certainly sounds like you're speaking to your Christian roots and letting that yeah. kind of take over as you do things the way you've done them here for the past yeah. five years. Exactly right. Yeah, exactly. So, well, we're going to miss you, Roger. Thanks, mate. Appreciate All right. it. From everyone here at URL, we thank you, Mr. Ashcroft and Miss Jen, for your years of commitment and passion. You have introduced so many exciting programs and opportunities as you have helped us to learn and grow in so many ways. God bless you, Miss Jan and Mr. Ashcroft and your family in your new chapter of life.